Hi guys, I'm here with Colin the Corgi. Hi guys. And this is part four of the South Fern students in Halloween costumes and customs. Uh-huh. So I just finished drawing all the fourth grade girls, so I'm gonna move on to the guys soon, but but these are the last four fourth grade girls in custom costumes, and I say customs because they didn't all all wear any costumes in like episodes well they are seen in halloween episodes it's just that i can't really see costumes that they're wearing yeah anyways let's get started first up we got nelly dressed up as a cupcake and nelly's the girl with the daisy on her shirt and she actually looks pretty yummy she's got a cherry on her hat <laughs> cherry on her hat i mean and she's the standard vanilla icing cupcake and she's got a pink down here as in the cup and she's wearing her normal outfit underneath the cupcake costume. Mmm. I know, right? I know, right, Colin? Nelly looks good, doesn't she? Mm-hmm. Colin, you can't eat that. It's just a drawing. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'll tell you what. Maybe I can feed you a real cupcake after this video. Okay. Well, maybe not like a real cupcake, because I don't want to get your face dirty. Okay. So anyways, there's Nellie in her cute cupcake costume. Next up... Next up, we got Jenny Simons dressed up as a witch. Ooh! She looks pretty as a witch, doesn't she, Colin? Yeah. So this, this is her dressed up as a witch. As you can see, her hat is blue and... The bow is blue and the bottom of her dress is blue to match the blue jacket she always wears. And then, and then we got Butters' Canadian girlfriend, Charlotte, from the second episode of season 19 called Where My Country Gone. She's dressed up as a unicorn. She's pretty. She sure is, Colin. She's supposed to be dressed up as a unicorn with a white headband with a silver horn, white ears with pink inside of them, and her belly is pink, and her outfit is white with purple hooves on her arms. And of course, those are her hands, and she's got a rainbow skirt with a rainbow tail, and she's got her white shoes on. She's so beautiful as a unicorn. That's right, Colin. Unicorns are beautiful. I wish I was a unicorn. Hey, maybe they'll make a unicorn corgi one day. Maybe. Ty, please make a unicorn corgi beanie boo. I really want to see that. Anyways, we got the last girl, which is the goth girl, Henrietta Biggle, the only female member of the goth kids. And I was going to draw one of the boys dressed up as a skeleton, but I drew her dressed up as a skeleton because the outfit's already black and she wears black a lot. She looks creepy and beautiful at the same time. I know, right, Colin? Mm-hmm. So this is her outfit. Very nice. I decided to draw a little heart right there. I don't think I did too bad for drawing a skeleton, for drawing the ribs and the arms and the legs of a skeleton for the first time. It's my first time actually drawing like a skeleton body, so that didn't turn out too bad. I think I did pretty well. Anyways, stay tuned for part five, where we're going to be looking at the other male fourth graders in Halloween costumes. Thank you guys for watching. Say bye, Colin. Bye, guys. Also, Ashley Meadows Slush and Cooper, if you're watching this, my name's Colin the Corgi. Want to be friends? <laughs> Thanks for the good message, Colin. Hopefully Slush and Cooper want to be friends with you. I know they will. Thanks for watching. Bye.